Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Must Read Monday. My name is Dabney. I'm the Young Adult Librarian with the Twin Lakes Libraries and I use they them pronouns. For today's episode, we are going to be looking at books by Jewish authors um, for Jewish American Heritage Month. And I've got like a ton of books over here, so we're not going to get into all of them super in depth. Um, so let's get started. First off, one that I listened to over the weekend and absolutely loved is The City Beautiful by Aiden Polydorus. This one is um, like a historical fantasy. It's set in 1893 in Chicago. So this is when the World's Fair is happening. So I don't know how much you know about that, but um, this book will fill you in and it is extremely interesting. Um, true crime fans might be aware of the World's Fair because of the book um, The Devil in the White City, uh, which is a, you know half focused on the World's Fair, half focused on um, the serial killer H.H. H. Holmes, who's operating during that time. So this book um, is about Alter. He is a Jewish immigrant from Romania, and he is, um, I think, 16... Or 17 but anyway so he is um, you know working to bring his mother and sisters to America and during this time one of his roommates um, is killed and the police say you know it's just an accident he drowned but Alter um, believes he was murdered as well as um, some other Jewish boys from the community who have gone missing so he is like taking it upon himself to try and figure out like what is happening. Um, and it there's like a fantasy element, like I said, to this um, because he ends up getting possessed by the Dybbuk of um, his friend who was killed. So <laughs> he's kind of getting these like visions and flashbacks um, from his friend's like life and murder and um, trying to put all the pieces together. And so he also teams up with um, his friend Frankie, who he used to run with. Um, Frankie is kind of living a life that Alter doesn't approve of, because um, he's, you know, kind of like steal, steal from the rich and give to his crew. And um, Alter's like, I'm not, I'm not down with that anymore. But they end up working together and also um, a friend, Reisel, who works for a newspaper, um, a German anarchist newspaper. So like the three of them are working together to um, solve the like murders of like who's killing these boys. And it is fascinating um, and heartbreaking and, you know, it is, it is a fantasy, but like all the historical research. Um, is true and ugh, like the living conditions are terrible the meatpacking industry terrible um, so I learned a lot listening to this book um, and I love the story and it was just very very good um, highly recommend it and I'm very excited to read the author's other book Bone Weaver another book rec for you. Um, and this one kind of reminded me of one of my all-time favorite books ever, When the Angels Left the Old Country. I've talked about this one before, but it also deals with um, Jewish immigrants coming to America from Europe and um, kind of being like this vulnerable population um, who's being exploited and um, you know, facing like a lot of anti-Semitism and xenophobia in America and in Europe as well, kind of, um, you know, just like this generational suffering that's been going on. This one is definitely like a lighter tone um, because the main characters are Little Ash and Uriel the Angel. So to me, it kind of gave me Good Omens vibes because they have decided like all of their young people are leaving the shuttle sh sorry if i'm saying that wrong and they're going to america and so they feel like little ash is like well we need to you know keep an eye on them and so they kind of get this quest 
that they um, are going to go to America to track down um, somebody and give them news about, I think it was like their grandfather's death, and also to see how they're doing in America and kind of like, you know, expand their horizons. And it's, it's really great. So you get like, it starts in Europe, you get the voyage over to New York and Ellis Island, and then you get them kind of trying to you know, be in New York, be in this um, immigrant community, and try and solve um, another mystery of people um, being killed and exploited. But it does, like I said, it does kind of have a, a softer sort of tone than um, The City Beautiful, which I was like, I got into, and I'm like, I am loving this. This is a lot darker and grimmer than I expected, but I, I really, really love that book. Um, and if you're like, Dabney, you only read sad things. It's not true. <laughs> I read happy things, including this rom-com um, that I didn't pull from the shelf. So I'm going to see if I can um, pull it up on Libby, because I listened to it on Libby. Um, How to Excavate a Heart. And this is a really cute sapphic romance um, set during winter break. So the two characters are, I believe, college freshmen. Um, they're dealing with like kind of coming off of like a heartbreak. And um, one is like dealing with that. The other is kind of dealing with some conflict in her family. And they're meeting up in D.C. and kind of... Um, starting like they have sort of like a, a meet ugly and then it kind of grows from there into this friendship and then into something more and I really liked it and so it is set during the winter holidays you do have um some about Hanukkah going on um and it was just it was really good I liked it a lot speaking of Hanukkah eight nights of flirting have not read this yet but um I want to I love this cover and just going to throw some books at you really quick. Um, it's, a whole, it's a whole spiel. Um, this one is some short stories, and I do really like this one as well. The Fever King is kind of like fantasy, sci-fi, um, very dark, uh, really intense. But I really like this one a lot. It's a duology. Oh, um, some nonfiction, The New Queer Conscience, from the Pocket Change Collective, which I love. Ooh, Becky Albertalli, if you have not read hers, I basically, well, she's Jewish, and, like, um, I think every book has a Jewish main character, but Yes, No, Maybe So, which is um, co-written with Aisha Saeed. Um, very good. My Fine Fellow, this is another historical one um, set in England. It's kind of like an alternate history, which you'll have to read to find out. And um, a lot about cooking and society and class structure. And it was, it was really kind of like a lighter read. It will definitely make you hungry. Um, haven't read this one yet, but once more with Schutzpa. Some other ones and um, The Life and Crimes of Hoodie Roses. From Dust to Flame, I really want to read this one. I'm very excited for it. Um, Color Me In. Someday We Will Fly. And um, this one deals like with the Holocaust, and this also does as well the Library of Auschwitz. Sorry, my pronunciation is questionable. Um, so those are my book recs for Jewish Heritage, Jewish American Heritage Month. And there's so many more books in the collection. Um, there's so many books on Libby and Hoopla as well for you to check out. So I hope you will come grab some of these and also sign up for summer reading program because we just started yesterday and you can sign up now. 
Um, I'll have some links in the notes for where you can do that. All right, see you next time. Bye.